Hey, I'm James, and I'm going to show you how to stabilize your footage based on face tracker data in After Effects. Let's dive in. I shot my footage in 4K at 60 frames per second using 1 2,000th of a second as my shutter speed. I did this to avoid as much motion blur as possible. With my footage in a new project, the first thing I did was some very basic color correction. Then I pre-composed that and drew a simple circular mask around my face. With the mask selected, I used the tracker panel, making sure the method was set to face tracking, detailed features. I then hit the play button in the tracker panel to track forward. This part takes a while, so I went back to my day job, which is what I'm supposed to be doing instead of procrastinating making silly videos. After about 20 minutes, I got pretty bored and realized the track was done, so I came back to stabilize the footage. In the effect controls panel for the current layer, we can see what the face tracker did. It added an effect called face track points, which contains data for the various features of the face. Now here comes the fun part. We can delete the mask because it's no longer needed, and with the layer selected, go over to the tracking panel and click stabilize motion. Make sure that position, scale, and rotation are all selected. This created two new tracking points. However, we're not going to actually track anything with them. We're just going to link them to the face tracker. And this is how you do that. With the effect controls panel still open, expand the left eye and right eye sections in the face track points effect. In the layer on the timeline, fully expand the motion trackers property and pick whip the attach point for track point one to the right pupil Likewise, pick whip the attach point for track point 2 to the left pupil. Now, with both attach points selected, right click and go to Keyframe Assistant, convert expression to keyframes. What this has done is created a fake stabilized tracker from the face tracking data. Now we can go back to the tracker panel and just hit apply. Now we can see that the footage is stabilized and locked to the tracked face. Pretty cool, huh? To make some more minor adjustments, I created a new null and parented the layer to that null, then moved and scaled the null until I was satisfied. For extra credit, you can add the smooth function as an expression on the layer's anchor point, scale, and rotation to make the effect a little bit less nauseating. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed that and learned something too. Now I really have to go back to work so I can keep my job, pay my bills, and continue making videos for your enjoyment. Thanks for watching.